Hi and welcome to my video. If you're watching this, it means you've um, got the same problem as I had, and that is why the male end of my flue pipe will not fit the collar inside the collar of my stove. Demonstration. And also, what can I do to make it fit? Right. I take take this off. I've taken it apart already. Apparently, the reason it won't fit is because this collar is a European version, and it's designed for the excuse me uh, for the female end. Like that. So how do we make it fit? Well, I've got two plans. Two plans in mind. First one is to cut a slot. Let me just set it off again. Cut a slot in the male end, collapse it, roll it up, put it back. If that doesn't work, just cut it off the male end. I might just do that in the first place. Keep watching, I'll let you know how I get on. Good luck. Hi and welcome back. Uh, in the way of prep, I've measured the depth of the inside of the collar and I've marked it first of all with pencil on the male end of the flue pipe, then put a bit of tape over it. So I know when cutting, I'm not going to go beyond that mark because then it will extend above the collar. And if my welding's as good as my video making, we're in for trouble. Incidentally, while I'm on here, I will state that I'm not affiliated with anybody, and that's hardly any surprise because what who in God's name would associate themselves with such a poorly made video? Although I will say that the information I got about it being a European collar I got from Hearst Heating and Plumbing in Castlebar, County Mayo Island. So if you want to give them a go, it's up to yourself. Get on a bit later. Hi, again. Right, so now, as you can see, I've cut my slot. I used an angle grinder first and then just went up with me, me hacksaw to, to clear it out. And I've got the ratchet strap, because I'm, I think I'm a bit brainy here, which might, if I'm any luck, collapse the... Uh, the pipe evenly. Probably won't. But I thought you'd enjoy watching me struggle to see see whether it work or not. You know in videos where they say here's one I've done earlier. Well, <laughs> seems to be slipping off the bottom there. Two steps. No, I don't. I don't, I don't think that's worked. Let's have a look. With all this, that is flattened one side of it. Absolutely not. Plan B then, cut the bloody thing off. Right, so there we go then. What I did first was I cut through it with a hacksaw. I then ground down all the lumpy bits because my cutting's as good as my video making. I finished it off with a round file, just take it off the burrs, flatten it out, and make it relatively flat. Now the collar does fit in there, 
So it's a little bit tricky to get in, but it does fit in now. So all I'll do is I'll probably put the fire cement on first and build this and then screw it on from in inside. As that would be as I'll have be able to get, get in and, and get the fire cement on top of the collar to try and stop the, the water and the creosote and, and all the gunk going down. One thing that uh, one thing that Hurst Heat and Plumbing did advise is that I draw a hole in the side as a vent to allow the gunk to come out. But I think it's a waste of time as well, so I'm not going to do that. Well, there's the, the off cut, the male piece, which is now redundant. If you like that video, I suggest to seek professional help, because what in God's name is wrong with you? But if you did find it a tad useful, try and keep it to yourself. Don't bother sharing it, and definitely don't thumbs up or like it, as we don't want to inflict this nonsense on anybody else. Thanks a lot. See you again.